Ang next topic natin is about isogonal trajectories. So, ang isogonal trajectories is a family of curve intersects every curve at fixed angle. So, for example, meron tayong isang curve. So, kung hanapin mo ang isogonal ay isogonal trajectories, isogonal trajectories intersect intersect every curve at a fixed angle. So, intersect niya yung curve na to. Eh, intersect niya yung curve na to at a fixed angle theta. So, para from from sa topic natin sa geometry. So, ang formula ng angle na to is tan theta is equal to m2 minus m1 over 1 plus m2 m1. So, yan yung formula galing sa analytic geometry. The angle formed by two lines. So, remember, remember, ang slope is equal to dy over dx. So, so tan theta, so, slope ng, ano, isogonal, isogonal, dy over dx sub i, so, dy over dx sub i minus slope ng curve over 1 plus dy over dx sub i times dy over dx ng curve. So, ito yung relationship na ginagamit natin sa pag-solve ng isogonal trajectories na curve. So, bali, tandaan itong relationship na to. Meron tayong problem. Find the, the isogonal trajectory of the family of curve. x squared minus y squared is equal to c if tan theta is equal to 1 half. So, ang um, meron tayong equation ng curve. So, x squared x squared minus y squared is equal to c. So ngayon, ang first step natin is eliminate natin yung arbitrary constant para lalabas yung dy over dx sa equation ng curve. So pag nag-eliminate tayo ng arbitrary constant, dapat naka-equate sa c para pag nag-derivative ka ng constant, 0 agad. So magiging siyang 2x minus 2 y dy over dx is equal to 0. So, alipan natin sa kabila, may higit siyang 2y dy over dx is equal to 2x. Then, makakancel to. So, dy over dx dy dy over dx is equal to x over y. So, ayan na yung slope ng curve. So, ngayon, so remember yung formula ng angle between two curves, tan theta, tan theta is equal to m sub 2 minus m sub 1 over 1 plus m1, m2. So, ngayon, meron na tayong slope ng curve. So, yun yung slope, remember? Equal yan sa dy over dx. So, bagoy na rin to. Magiging siya dy over dx. Yan yung slope na isogonal. So, isogonal trajectory. Minus slope ng curve x over y over 1 plus x over y dy over dx and tan theta is equal to 1 half tan theta is equal to 1 half so meron din yung over 1 so cross multiply so magiging siyang 1 half 1 half quantity 1 plus x over y dy over dx 
is equal to dy over dx minus xy. So ngayon, multiply natin distributively. So magiging siyang 1 half plus x over 2y dy over dx is equal to dy over dx minus x over y. So ngayon, ilipat natin ito sa kabila. Tapos ito, ilipat din sa kabila. So magiging siyang x over 2y dy over dx so ito ay lipat natin sa kabila magiging siyang negative dy over dx is equal to so negative xy tapos ito lipat natin sa kabila dito sa kabila magiging siyang negative 1 half Then common, yung dy, so pwede natin siyang ilabas, so magiging itong x over 2y minus 1 times dy over dx is equal to, so pwede natin itong simplify, so cross multiply lang, so negative, negative 2x minus y over 2y. Tapos ito, pwede rin natin siyang simplify. May higit siyang x minus 2y. x minus 2y. Over 2y. dy over dx. Is equal to negative 2x minus y over to y so ngayon ito makancel makancel yan so magiging x minus 2y dy over dx is equal to negative 2x minus y so ngayon pwede natin siyang multiply dito so cross multiply meron din yung over 1 so magiging x minus 2y dy is equal to negative 2x minus y dx So, ilipat natin ito sa kabila para mailagay natin siya sa standard form ng general uh, differential equation. So, may higit siyang negative 2x minus y dx. So, ilipat natin sa kabila magiging negative x minus 2y dy is equal to 0. So ngayon, pwede natin itong multiply para maging general, general form na siya or standard form. So may higit siyang negative 2x minus y dx. So may higit plus. So mag i change. So may higit siyang 2y minus x dy is equal to 0. So meron na tayong standard form ng differential equation so hindi siya pwedeng variable si parable kasi mayroong x and y so pwede siyang homogeneous pwede siyang homogeneous kasi yung yung degree ng kada term is para pareho or pwede rin siyang exact differential equation so solve natin sa exact para madali so, isolve natin siya gamit yung exact. So, may higit siyang break muna natin siya. So,
So, test natin siya sa exact. So, ito partial derivative of y. Ito partial derivative of x. So, kung partial derivative of y, so, x is 0. Derivative ng negative negative 2 x is 0. Tapos, negative derivative, partial derivative of y with respect to y is negative. Partial derivative of y with respect to y. Plus, so, partial derivative of x, so, ang partial derivative dito is 0. Then, partial derivative negative x is partial derivative of x with respect to x is equal to 0. So, may isang negative 1 and negative 1 is equal to 0. So, exact siya. So ngayon, pag natest na natin na exact, integrate na natin. So integrate as y is constant and without x. Without x, so may isang. So integral ng negative 2x dx is negative 2 x squared so kung x squared 2 2 rin sa baba so kung y is constant so lalabas yung negative y and integral of the dx is x so x y so without x mawawala to so integral of 2y dy is plus 2y squared over 2 is equal to 0. Ah, C. So, equal siya sa C. So, ito is maging negative. Mawawala ito. So, negative x squared minus xy plus y squared is equal to C. So, times natin sa negative 1. Negative 1. So, maging siya x squared plus xy uh, <coughs> Minus y squared. So, isunod din natin yung y squared. Plus xy is equal to c. So, yan ay yung equation na isogonal sa curve. So, yan yung answer.